बिसमीम् असलकुम जे स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास सेवन हेल्थ जियर साइंस टीचर एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर एंड चैप्टर नंबर टू एंड स्नैम इज प्लांट्स इन देयर सिस्टम सो स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो देट लाइक एनिमल्स प्लांट्स आर ऑल्सो द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स वाट आर प्लांट्स प्लांट्स आर द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स बट दिस प्लांट्स आर नॉट look the same as each other what these are the living organisms but these all are not look like the same a tree is very different from the primrose or rose or the pond weed they do not uh, look nothing like a rose bush however they all have the similar structure if you look at their structure these all have the same root stem leaf and also the bud but this all looks from looks different from the each other okay what are the plants plants are also the living organism like the animals but these all are the different from each other although they they have the same internal structure like we all are the animals cat dog and humans these all are the animals and their internal structures is also the same but we look like different from the each other okay and that's why the plants are also different from the each other but their composition but their parts are also same so dear students look at the parts of the plants there are the five parts of the plants number 1 roots number t- number 2 stem number 3 leaves and number 4 flowers and number 5 buds these are the parts of the plants you can see this in this picture okay look at this picture this is a plant this is a flower it's a, this is a leaf this is a stem and this is a bud and also these are the root which are in inside the soil so these are the parts of the plants so what are the functions of these parts now look at this dag this plant look at this plant okay this is a plant now look at this this is a flower these are the leaves and this is a stem this is a bud and roots are inside the soil look at this root are inside the soil theek hai bilkul hum andar se dekhenge to ye plants ki kya hoti hai roots hoti hai theek hai this is a plant so what are the functions of these parts of the plants okay now we are going to discuss what are the functions of these parts of the plants number 1 roots there are here are the inside some roots what is the function of roots roots hold a plant in a place ye plant ek jagah pe khada hua hai is uh, is gamle ke andar theek hai kiski madad se root ki madad se theek hai so what is the function of roots roots hold a plant and number 2 they also from the uh, taken water that is needed to the plant from the wo- root water is also taken uh, to the plant so this is a stem this is what this is a stem now what is the function of this stem okay is stem ka kya kaam hai so stem is the main Uh, plants main part okay what is it support the uh, plant which is above the ground okay isme jo ground ke andar matlab jo ground ke andar hoti hai wo hoti hai root theek hai jo ki kya kar rahi hai plants ko support kar rahi hai lekin dusra jo upar plant ka part hai usko kaun support karta hai usko support karti hai ye stem for example flower hai ya leaves hai to inko support kaun kar rahi hai inko support kar rahi hai ye stem ठीक है और ऑल्सो स्टेम क्या करती है होल्ड करती है किसको लीव्स को ठीक है ताकि लीव्स क्या कर सके फोटोसिंथेसिस कर सके 
okay so can leak leave can uh, take the light from the sun and also do the photosynthesis now these are the leaves look at this these are the leaves so now what is the function of these leaves leaves are the part of the plants where plant makes its food okay plant this this is a plant and this plant can make its food uh, by the help of these leaves leaves can do photosynthesis okay so leaves uh, are there are so many types of the leaves they are all the different from the each other there are so many shapes of the leaf now here is an other part of the plant called the flower this is a flower look at this this is a flower so flower contain the reproductive organs of the plant okay what is flower flower is the that part of the plant which contain both the reproductive part of the plant it contain the male reproductive part of the plant and also it contain the female reproductive part of the plant and the male reproductive part of the plant is called stamen and the female reproductive part of the plant is called carpel okay and here are some brightly colored okay look at this flower also contain some brightly color these are the colorful petals okay petals are sweet smelling as some flowers are uh, beautiful they have uh, sweet smell but some flowers do not have uh, any smell they are smellless okay here is an other part of the plant is the bud bud where where from the uh, growth start okay growth can take place at the tip of these roots and shoots so what is the function of bud bud Uh, from the bud growth can take place okay so these were the all parts of the plants so you have learned about the parts of the plants now i'm going to i'm going to tell you about the plant tissue and organs so what are the plant tissues and organs as you know that cell is the basic unit of life and cells can make the tissue and tissues can form the organs what are tissue combination of cells is called tissue and combination of these tissues are called organs so there are so many tissues of the plants as you know you know that the plants are also multicellular organisms and they are made up of different types of cells and these cells and cells that can do same job grouped together to make tissue it means cell can combine to form tissue so these cell these are the some cells of the tissues of the plants which contain chloroplast what are what is chloroplast chloroplast is a pigment uh, through which plant can do the photosynthesis through which plant can make its food so there are four types of plant tissue number one photosynthetic tissue number 2 protective tissue number 3 xylem tissue and number 2 number 4 phloem tissue these are the four parts four tissues of the plants so photosynthesis tissue photo photosynthetic tissue can help the plant to make their food and protective tissue can protect protect the plant it cover the root shoots stem and leaf it has a thin transparent skin that protect the plant from the damage or infection okay look at look at this this is a protective tissue it has a protective thin and covering called the uh, thin covering which uh, which can protect the plant from the damage this is a xylem tissue and this is a phloem tissue xylem is a water conducting tissue it can conduct water for the plant and phloem is a food conducting tissue it means it can conduct the food its job is to carry the food from the leaf to the parts of the plant and xylem also carry the water minerals from the root to the leaves so these are the four types of the tissues photosynthetic tissue ka kaam ye hota hai ki wo kya karta hai plant ko plant ke liye फोटोसिंथेसिस करवाता है इट मीन्स के प्लांट का जो फूड है वो बनवाता है ठीक है उसके बाद 
प्रोटेक्टिव टिश्यू का काम ये होता है कि ये जो हमारा पूरा एक प्लांट मैंने आपको दिखाया उसकी जितने भी पार्ट्स हैं उनको क्या करता है प्रोटेक्शन देता है जाइलम क्या करता है ऐसा टिश्यू होता है जो कि वाटर और मिनरल्स को रूट से लेकर कहाँ तक पहुँचाता है लीव तक पहुंचाता है जहाँ से लीव क्या करते हैं फोटो सेंथेटिक कराते हैं ठीक है उसके बाद फ्लोइम क्या करता है फ्लोइम जो है ये ये क्या करते हैं ये कैरी करते हैं फूड फ्रॉम द लीव टू द अदर पार्ट्स ऑफ द प्लांट अब जैसे कि आपको पता है कि लीव्स का काम ये होता है कि ये क्या करते हैं ये प्लांट के लिए फूड बनाते हैं ठीक है तो यहाँ से लीव से जो ये फूड है ठीक है ये क्या करते हैं ये ये जो है वो फ्लोइम टिश्यू इस फूड को लेकर जो बाकी दूसरा प्लांट का पार्ट है वहाँ तक पहुँचाता है ओके थैंक यू स्टूडेंट नाउ योर होमवर्क इज यू हैव टू ड्रा सम कलरफुल फ्लावर्स एंड सेंड टू मी ऑन व्हाट्सएप एंड ऑल्सो यू हैव टू सॉल्व दिस एक्सरसाइज एक्सरसाइज नंबर वन क्वेश्चन सिक्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स बुक पेज नंबर 15 एंड सेंड टू मी थैंक यू हैव अ नाइस डे अल्लाह हाफिज़